so welcome back today we are doing a numerical problem on the topic soil water requirements and we have the data in here and we have the questions okay so the given data are dry density of unit weight of soil is 15 kg per meter cube unit weight of water is 9.81 it is not given in the question but this value gamma w is always taken as 9.81 kN per m cube as we do in most of the theory problems most of the problems field capacity is 30 percentage permanent melting point is 8 percentage and depth of root zone the depth up to which the root reaches the soil then the surface of earth is d is equal to 0.8 meters and using these data you have to find out three things depth of moisture at fc field capacity depth of moisture at wc permanent melting point and depth of available moisture okay and some of the equations we have covered in the last video okay so i just am jumping into the question the okay, numerical problem okay so we'll address first one right now depth of moisture at fc okay the equation for any moisture content in the soil or depth of moisture in a soil mass is given by the equation depth dw is equal to depth of moisture at fc dw is equal to gamma d by gamma w into d gamma d by gamma w into d 0.8 meters into in this case we will get fc minus 0 because the question is at depth of moisture at fc up to fc what is the depth of moisture so the equation becomes dw is equal to gamma d by gamma w into d into fc minus 0 okay so better to better understand this question if this is the soil mass this is wc and melting point and this is fc maximum point okay so in the first sub question it is asked to find out the depth of moisture at fc so gamma d by gamma w d into fc just fc minus 0 okay and that is equal to 15 minus 9.81 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.3 0 minus 0 okay 30 percent is substituted as 0.3 we will uh, convert it into fraction okay so 30 percentage is 0.3 all the rest of is substituted right okay and that is equal to 0 0.367 meters okay and second one depth of moisture at wc that is the equation becomes the same equation with slight change of this part okay so in second one it is asked that to find out depth of moisture at wc just this part instead of the total part as in first sub question okay so you are asked this much so obviously we know how to write the equation the equation becomes gamma d by gamma w into d into wc that's it okay so it is 15 by 9.81 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.08 converting 8 percent into fraction okay and that becomes 0 0.0967 meters So that is how we found out the first two sub questions depth of moisture at fc depth of moisture at wc just we changed 
things in the bracket okay according to the sub question okay so now we are going to examine the third one the third one depth of water available that is that is equal to available moisture it's a plain english the depth of available water is equal to available moisture and available moisture is given by the moist depth of moisture in this area that is between wc and fc okay as you remember if you remember it correctly available moisture is the moisture content between permanent wilting point and field capacity okay so the equation becomes c dw is equal to gamma d by gamma w d into fc minus wc gamma d is 15 9.81 0 0.08 0 0.30 minus 0 0.08 fc minus wc fc minus this part only okay So the answer is 0 0.269 meters. So that is the available moisture in the soil and that is the depth of water available in the soil, this part. Okay. So suppose you have a fourth question. I think you understood all the three sub questions. And suppose you are having another question as the fourth one. That is, find readily available moisture. Find readily available moisture. Okay, and you know readily available moisture is if this is WC and this is fc this much is available moisture okay and you know that readily available moisture is readily available moisture is 75 percentage of available moisture that is the top 75 percentage this much Top 75 percentage of available moisture is red level moisture. If you know FC is 30 percentage and WC is 8 percentage, with simple mathematics you can calculate this lower point and this is known as M0. Okay, so the equation for red level moisture is DW is equal to gamma D by gamma w d into fc minus m0 m0 is the lower limit of red level moisture that is this point okay so how do we calculate m0 m0 is fc minus m0 uh, suppose the moisture content difference between fc and M0, uh, wc is fc minus wc that is 0.3 minus 0 0.08 okay how much is it 0 0.22 okay this much is what available moisture and to find readily available moisture that is We will delay our moisture, we will multiply with 0 0.75, 75% 0 0.75 that is 16 
0.5 percentage you will get it as 0.165 and that is same as that of 16.5 percentage and now we will subtract that 30 percentage 16.5 percentage from this 30 percentage okay to get m0 m0 is equal to 30 minus 16.5 30 minus this much is 16.5 okay 16.5 that is 13.5 percentage Thirteen point five percentage that is M zero. Then substitute this M zero into this equation. So D W is equal to gamma D by fifteen by nine point eight one into zero point eight. 0 0.8 into 0 0.3 fc minus 0.135 and the answer will be 0 0.202 meters ok so to find readily available moisture the equation is gamma d by gamma w d into f c minus m0 if m0 is directly given in your question just substitute m0 in this question in this equation if it is not given and you are given f c and w c you can find it out with simple mathematics with the equation as readily available moisture is top 75 percentage of available moisture okay so you get m0 and substitute in the equation and get the answer as readily available moisture okay so right now we know how to take uh, the values of depth of available moisture readily available moisture depth of moisture at wc and fc using this a set of values in this gamma w will not be given the question because we already know that as 9.81 this value will be varied and if not given you can assume it to be 15 or 12 value or you have to state it forward and all the else, uh, everything else will be given in the question okay so we move on to next question so moving on to next question we have field capacity of 15 percentage and dry unit weight of soil as 15.3 kN per meter cube and we have two more informations okay and field capacity was 15 percentage the moisture content before irrigation was 0. Point or 8 percentage moisture before irrigation ok that means the upper limit of moisture content is always fc we, we know that ok that is this is 50 percentage fc is 15 percentage and if this is 8 percentage moisture content before irrigation okay so we apply water to raise this level to 15 percentage okay we are applying what we are irrigating only to reach always only to reach the level of field capacity because it is the upper limit of water that can be used by roots beneficially okay so what moisture content in the soil before irrigation was 0.8 we increased till 15 percentage 
okay, if we are regaining, we will be increasing it till Fc. That is 50 percentage. So 8 became 50 percentage by applying of how much water? The depth is given. Depth is given as 60 millimeter, and that was irrigation depth. Irrigation depth was 60 millimeters. And you are asked to find out how much depth of soil, if this is ground level, how much depth of soil will be wetted. Okay. Actually, you are asked to find out the root zone depth of the irrigation pattern or the soil that we are getting to irrigate. Okay. So we have FC field capacity and we have an initial moisture content and we have the water applied, quantity of water applied 60 mm of water to raise this 8 percentage to 15 percentage and you have to find out the depth of soil that was wetted by this 60 mm of water ok so the standard equation is dw is equal to in this scenario the equation is dw is equal to gamma d by gamma w d into fc minus the initial moisture content that is 0 0.08 okay in this we know fc we know gamma d and gamma w and we know dw 16 mm 60 mm okay and the question is to find out how much depth of soil was wetted by this water that is d and in this equation d is the only unknown so you can find, find it out easily okay dw as it is in mm 0 0.06 is equal to 15.3 by 9.81 d into 0 point zero point one five minus zero point zero eight okay so after calculating d becomes d is zero point five five meters this is 0 0.55 meters okay so understand the concept and most of the uh, numerical problem will be depending on this soil equation in this equation and this in this expression this both values will be changing most probably the last value okay in this case it was not wc because wc was not given and the water used to irrigate dw was given such that it was used to raise from 8 percentage to fc 8 percentage to fc that's why we put the equation as 60 is equal to w gamma d by gamma w into d into 15 percentage minus 8 percentage okay i hope you get it and try these next uh, problems as you can and ask any doubts okay thank you